models. I can bake eggless cakes. You should bake cakes with egg too. I could do it, but I am a vegetarian. May I try my hand at baking right now? You must try baking at least once. It's fun. I might try baking a Christmas cake. Shall I give you some tips on baking? Sure. Would you stay here till Christmas to help me? I might or might not be here around Christmas, but we could talk through video conferencing. That would be wonderful. I will keep the ingredients ready then. In the dialogues between two friends, different forms of models or auxiliary verbs have been used. Here are some examples of sentences using model verbs. I can bake eggless cakes. You should bake cakes with egg too. I could do it, but I am a vegetarian. May I try my hand at baking now? You must try it at least once. It is fun. I might try baking a Christmas cake. Shall I give you some tips on baking? Sure. Would you stay here till Christmas to help me? I might or might not be here around Christmas. But we could talk through video conferencing. That would be wonderful. I will keep the ingredients ready then. Definition Modern verbs are auxiliary or helping verbs that add specific or additional meaning to the main verb. Modern verbs may be positive, negative or interrogative. Modern verbs are used to express permission, ability, obligation, prohibition lack of necessity or absence of obligation, advice, possibility, probability or speculation. Models are governed by these rules. Models do not take an S or ES with the third person. Example, she can dance, correct. She can's dance, Incorrect. Models are followed by bare infinitives or the base form of a verb. Bare infinitives are not followed by to. Example. I must attend the function tonight. Correct. I must to attend the function tonight. Incorrect. Models do not have an ing form. Can, must, May, might, correct. Canning, musting, maying, mighting, incorrect. Models are placed before a main verb. Example, I should go home, correct. I go should home, incorrect. Let us look at a few more sentences. Can I use your pen? Permission. I can swim well in a pond. Ability. I must see the doctor now. Obligation. You must not drink chilled water. Prohibition. You need not carry villains now. Lack of necessity. You should sow the seeds in the right season. Advice. Anand might come home next week. Possibility. I may start wearing kimono in Japan. Probability. Here are a few more sentences using models. May I drive your car today? I can wait for my brother. I must practice more to perform better. Arna might not work with the channel anymore. You must not yell at the little girl. Mother need not cook food today. You should carry your medicines always. Himanshi might appear in the exam next year. I may get involved in some social work. Should and ought to.
I should soon leave for London. You ought to complete your documents properly to avoid rejection later on. Let me pack my clothes first. It is very cold in London right now. You ought to pack enough woolens. Should I visit the Big Ben first? Asking for suggestion. You should visit the Buckingham Palace first. You should also go for Thames River cruise. It is amazing. Sure, the agent should be here any time with the tickets. Great, you ought to get the currency exchanged before leaving India. Sure, I ought to follow your advice for a comfortable stay. In the dialogues between two friends, models, auxiliary verbs, should and ought to are used variously. Here are some examples of sentences using should and ought to. I should soon leave for London. You ought to complete your documents properly to avoid rejection later on. It is very cold in London right now. You ought to pack enough woolens. Should I visit the Big Ben first? Asking for suggestion. You should visit the Buckingham Palace first. You should also go for Thames River cruise. It is amazing. Sure, the agent should be here any time with the tickets. Great, you ought to get the currency exchanged before leaving India. Sure, I ought to follow your advice for a comfortable stay. Definition Should and ought to are models. Auxiliary verbs used to express an advice, suggestion, idea, obligation, expectation or probability. They vary slightly in usage but are often used interchangeably. Should is used commonly. Ought to is used less commonly. Should is used in spoken and written language. Ought to is used mostly in written language. Should expresses subjective opinion of an individual. Ought to expresses an objective view and is more empathetic. Should in a sentence structure. Affirmative. Subject plus should plus verb in root form. Negative. Subject plus should not plus verb in root form. Interrogative. Should plus subject plus verb in root form. Ought to in a sentence structure. Affirmative. Subject plus ought to plus verb in root form. Negative. Subject plus ought not plus verb in root form. Interrogative. Ought plus subject plus verb in root form. Note. Ought is not followed by to in negative or interrogative sentences. Let us look at a few sentences using ought to and should. I should learn Spanish, subjective view. You ought to learn the local language of a region, objective view. You should study hard, advice. You ought to follow the traffic signals, obligation. We should carpool to save money, opinion. The taxi should be here by evening, expectation, probability. We should also install solar panels. Idea. Here are a few more sentences with model verbs should and ought to. You have fever. You ought to see the doctor. The dog should not bark unnecessarily. Sumit should be gaining more weight in two months. Reem ought to thank the taxi driver for his free services. Millie ought to learn swimming well before jumping into the pool. Should I buy you some chocolates? Ought I sign the deal without reading it?
will and would. I will join the Mountaineering Academy next year. Will you join it this year only? No, I would rather hone my skills at sculpting this year. I will teach the art to you too. That's nice of you, but I will not or won't be able to spare time to learn it. Would you like to learn something else? I would rather concentrate on academics than spend time on hobbies. If I had studied like you, even I would have been a topper in school. I remember till standard 10, you would study very hard. Never mind, you are excelling in another field. The dialogues between Rohit and Mihir uses model verbs will and would. Here are some examples of sentences. I will join the Mountaineering Academy next year. Will you join it this year only? No, I would rather hone my skills at sculpting this year. I will teach the art to you too. That's nice of you, but I will not or won't be able to spare time to learn it. Would you like me to help you learn something else? I would rather concentrate on academics than spend time on hobbies. If I had studied like you, even I would have been a topper in school. I remember till standard 10, you would study very hard. Never mind, you are excelling elsewhere. Definition Will and would are model verbs used with a main verb. Will is used to express willingness or unwillingness, express determination, express a future situation that is certain to happen, make a promise or request. Will is never used in the past tense. Would is the past form of will. It is used to Make a polite request or offer. Express preference or choice. Express a habit in the past. Express conditional clauses. Make reported speech. Let us look some sentences using will. I will attend the function. Willingness. I will not or won't lend him money. Unwillingness. I will scale Mount Everest one day. Determination The sky is overcast. It will rain by evening. A future situation that is certain to happen. Will you come with me? Request I will help you cook tonight. Promise Some sentences using would. Would you mind giving me some water? Request would you like to go by road? Offer. I would prefer going by train. Preference. I would rather read a novel than gossip. Choice. When I was a child, I would sing a lot. Past habit. If I had time, I would have pursued my hobbies. Conditional. Father said that he would be home early today. Reported speech. Here are a few more sentences with model verbs will and would. I will dance at the party. I will do my best to win the medal this year. The run rate is poor. They will lose the match. Will you help my sister? I will knit a sweater for mother. When dad was in London, he would call us every day. If I were an astrologer, I would have predicted your future. I would rather eat baked potatoes than fried ones. Would you like to call it a day now? May or might, can or could, possibility, ability, probability. I may be a bit late to the office today. Never mind. Even the boss could be a little late. My assistant might have submitted the reports yesterday. No, he is still working and might need some help. 
he could have taken help of some colleague present in the office yesterday. Let's see if I reach in time, I might help him. Yes, a newcomer can falter on difficult issues. I may not have given this work to him if I had known his limitations. He might turn out to be a good worker. Let's have patience. Let's hope so. In the conversation between two friends, the models may, might, can and could are used in different contexts. Here are some examples of sentences. I may be a bit late to the office today. Present possibility. Never mind, even the boss could be a little late. Present possibility. My assistant might have submitted the reports yesterday. Past possibility. No, he is still working and might need some help. Present possibility. He could have taken help of some colleague present in the office yesterday. Past possibility. Let's see, if I reach in time, I might help him. Future possibility. Yes, a newcomer can falter on difficult issues. General possibility. I may not have given this work to him if I had known his limitations. Past possibility. He might turn out to be a good worker. Let's have patience. Future possibility. Definition. May, might, could are models used to express possibility in the present or future. May and might are often used interchangeably but may conveys a stronger possibility. Can is used to express a possibility in general. It is always used in the present tense. May have, might have and could have are used to express a possibility in the past. Let us look at these sentences. The kids may be tired. Father could be here any time. Prem might be listening to the music. It can be dangerous to swim without a life jacket. Rohit might go to see his doctor. Aruna may have eaten before the teacher came. The boys might have missed their classes last week. Supriya could have spoken to her father yesterday. Here are few more sentences using models may, might, can and could. He may be on leave today. We might watch some other movie. Sarika may not be out station. Vijay could be upset due to the theft. Ajit could be on his way home. Practice can make you perfect. Poor ventilation can cause health problems. Satya could have booked the tickets earlier. Meghna might not have visited her sister first. Abhay may not have received the invitation in time. He could have given you a better suggestion. Can, could and be able to. My carpenter can make beautiful traditional furniture. Can he make designer almiras too? I think he cannot make designer almiras now. He could make them earlier when he had the necessary tools. What happened to his tools? He lost them some time back, but he is able to visualize and draw sketches of modern designs. He can guide your carpenter if you want him to. Sure. My carpenter is not able to imagine an interesting design for my Almira. It's okay. Everybody cannot master the skills. In this conversation, modern verbs can, could and to be able to are used to express ability. Have a look at the relevant sentences with these modern verbs. Definition can and could are model verbs used to express ability. Can and could both are followed by bare infinitive, root form of verb, without to. The past of can is could. 
be able to is not a modal verb it is conjugated verb to be plus adverb able plus infinitive to the past of be able to is was or were able to can and to be able to are used interchangeably but can is more common can could and to be able to all can be used as negative and interrogative forms let us look at these sentences amit can clean the car giraffes can eat leaves from very tall branches can jatin write poems ali cannot read hindi jeevan could easily climb up the hills in childhood Sartha could not crack the entrance exam last year. Radhika is able to drive now. I was able to hear the noises even from a distance. They were not able to go out due to rains. Is Amita able to sleep now? Here are a few more sentences using can, could and to be able to. I can now complete my notes. Jaya cannot go without a guide. Martha could attend French classes, but she was unwilling. Manish could not help his friends. Ajay is able to use chopsticks now. The farmers are able to produce more wheat this year. Grandmother was able to see clearly after her cataract operation. The government is not able to prevent floods. The students were not able to meet the chairman. Must and have got to. I must get my driving license renewed. Must you submit your requisite documents at the transport office yourself? No, the agent can handle it. Even I have got to meet my agent for some pending jobs. Have you got to get your driving license renewed? No, I have got to pay penalty for jumping the traffic lights. I was in a hurry. Must you not leave in time to avoid violation of traffic lights? Yes, I have to meet my agent urgently to settle this issue. I shall see you later. The conversation between two friends uses modal verbs of necessity or obligation. must and have got to in affirmative and interrogative here are some examples of sentences using must and have got to i must get my driving license renewed must you submit your requisite documents at the transport office yourself even i have got to meet my agent for some pending jobs Have you got to get your driving license renewed? No, I have got to pay penalty for jumping the traffic lights. I was in a hurry. Must you not leave in time to avoid violation of traffic lights? I have to meet my agent urgently to settle this issue. Definition Must is a modal verb expressing necessity or obligation coming from the speaker. It is a stronger expression. Have to or have got to are semi-modals expressing an obligation coming from a source other than the speaker. The source could be a law, a rule, a contract, a practice, etc. Must and have got to do not have a past tense let us look at these sentences you are ill you must take your medicines necessity to get well must you eat before lunch necessity interrogative the fuel is depleting the plane must land necessity can't do without I must stop daydreaming and start working. Necessity affirmative. I have got to study for my exams. Obligatory to pass. 
you have got to wear a helmet for safety when riding a scooter obligation enforced by law have you got to return the book to the library obligation interrogative here are few more sentences using models must and have got to we must get our salary on time you must stop wasting money on extravaganza you must start early to reach in time must you drive without a driving license i have got to reply to the students queries you have got to wear spotless uniform for the parade have you got to convey something urgent to her need not don't have to must not i need not wear a victorian gown to the party no you don't have to follow others but you must not wear anything outlandish either i don't have to buy designer clothes for the occasion true you need not to wear expensive designer clothes but something comfortable i need not wear heavy makeup no but you must not ignore the theme is traditional clothes it is a theme party sure i'll keep that in mind the conversation between suman and mehika has used the models need not don't have to and must not here are some examples of sentences i need not wear a victorian gown to the party no you don't have to follow others but you must not wear anything outlandish either i don't have to buy designer clothes for the occasion true you need not wear expensive designer clothes but something comfortable i need not wear heavy makeup no but you must not ignore theme is traditional clothes it is a theme party definition must not is a semi model that implies prohibition or when you are forbidden to do something need not and don't have to are almost similar in implication need not is used when the speaker does not feel the necessity to do something don't have to is used when the insistence comes from a source other than the speaker and the speaker does not find it necessary need not don't have to and must not don't change form regardless of the subject whether singular or plural look at these sentences using the models need not don't have to and must not you must not interrupt when the teacher is explaining you are prohibited you need not eat pizza for lunch you have a choice here are a few more sentences using these models you must not smoke in the no smoking zone you must not play with fire it is dangerous i need not clean the bathroom today we need not drive car to the office they need not cook vegetarian food i don't have to sit there for hours you don't have to sing along they don't have to sell their house immediately models of permission offers and invitations can i go to the video parlor you may go thanks can i get you something on my way back okay you can buy me a packet of cake flour shall i also buy you some food colors they may not be available nearby never mind i will go to another department store to get them Would you like some lemonades before you leave? Sure, that's most welcome. When I was a child, I could watch television at home but not visit a video parlor. Oh, mom, times have changed. The conversation between mother and daughter uses model verbs of permission, offer, 
and invitation. Here are some examples of sentences. Can I go to the video parlor, mom? Yes, you may go. Thanks. Can I get you something on my way back? Shall I also buy you some food colors? Never mind. I will go to another department store to get them. Would you like some lemonade before you leave? When I was a child, I could watch television at home but not visit a video parlor. Definition The model verbs used for asking permission are Can Informal Most common Could More polite Common May Most polite Less common The model verbs used for granting permission are can, may, could is not used to grant permission. Could can be used to express a permission granted in the past. The modern verbs used to make offers are can, casual, informal, common, will, casual, determination, shall, very polite, formal, less common. The modal verbs used to make invitations are would, polite invitation, would plus you plus like plus noun or would plus you plus like plus infinitive verb, to plus verb, must, very polite invitation. Have a look at these sentences using models of permission and offer. Can I use your cell phone? Informal. Could I stay at your place today? More polite. May I sleep for a while? Most polite. You may play video games for a short while. More formal, polite. When I was a child, I could play in the rains. I was permitted to do so. Can I help you carry the books? Informal, most common. I will post your letter if you want me to. Informal, determination. Shall I drop you home? Most polite and uncommon. Would you like some coffee? Polite. You must come here again. Very polite. Here are a few more sentences using these models. Can I share the meals with you? Could you lend me your bike for a day? May I bring along my pet? You can drink soup if you wish to. You may go with your friends to the picnic. Can I help you with your homework? Can I get you your umbrella? I will help Pragya to rehearse for the play. Shall I write the essay for you? Would you like to stay back for the concert?